Motionless and White, the collaboration. This was huge. It was released in December. Motionless and White got together with Cursed, with Cursed Cosmetics, Madame Cursed and they created their very own makeup collection. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is yours truly, Crystal Leandra, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing the full collection with you guys from Motionless and White. It's a very exciting time for them. It's interesting because this did just drop December of 2023. However, I knew about this in the making for about a couple of years. As you guys know, I got to film with Motionless and White on set for Werewolf. I got to actually be in the music video and I was a makeup artist for the extras on set. And so I know all the tea going on, nitty gritty behind the scenes. I'm also an affiliate with Curse Cosmetics. I am friends with the CEO. Shout out to Mariel. She's an amazing human. She really took me under her wing when I was a baby influencer, baby content creator. So I got to meet with her over the summer of 2023 and see behind the scenes and the making of this. And I know that not only Motionless and White worked really hard on this, but also, you know, Chris Motionless, the lead singer, really put his heart and soul into this. Um, and he wanted to make it absolutely perfect. So we're going to talk about the whole collection today. So I have the eyeshadow palette here. I also have the liquid eyeliner and cream pencil kit here. And of course, I've used them already. And I have the matte liquid lipstick. So we're going to address it all. So you can purchase this whole collection. I'm just on the Cursed website for $101. Um, and if you just want to pre-order the palette, it's currently $54.99. However, if you use my code CrystalLeandra, all one word, I'll put it here, you can save extra on this collection. So make sure you use my code. Now, I own every single Cursed Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow palette that exists, but I was just really, really blown away by the size of this. I mean, it's literally the size of my head. Now, it's really unique packaging. It has the sort of aesthetic of the shiny plastic on top that gives you a little bit of a 3D motion as well. But normally a palette will sort of open from front to back, but this entire front piece comes down and it's an actual separated mirror from the actual eyeshadow palette itself. Before we dip into the colors, I also wanted to show you the back of the packaging as well. There was just a lot of love and work put into this. You know, when you understand the production that goes behind makeup companies doing this. It's a lot of work. And when you're pulling in a big band like Motionless and White, you know, you're gonna have to agree and disagree on things and you're gonna have to put out, you know, prototypes that don't work and prototypes that do work and negotiate. So the amount of work that goes into this, it's just, there's a lot of appreciation behind it. Of course, this was inspired from Motionless and White scoring the end of the world, their latest album which was amazing obviously werewolf was on it um, and they had a few other hits on here as well including masterpiece porcelain is of course my absolute favorite song but let's go ahead and get into the actual shades now there are six matte shades in here okay and they're all very unique shades all of them are named after actual songs or lyrics with the band. So the first matte is Sign of Life, which is this green tone. The next is Masterpiece, which is a blue. It's very pigmented, by the way. We Become the Night is a very matte black. There's also imprints from the album, if you can see them up close, which is very unique and extra. It's very expensive to do that. Next is Cyberhex. I found out this was Chris's most particular shade, was choosing a very Beetlejuice purple. So there's some information for you guys. He was very picky and particular with this shade. The next shade is Meltdown, which is kind of like a peachy toned orange, definitely very Pumpkin King vibes. And the next MAC shade is the Corpse Nation, which is a neutral toned brown. Now, of course, there are 10 large pans and five small pans. And we just talked about these six matte tones. There are three buttery shimmer shades in this palette. The first one is Time Bomb, which is almost like an army green, so it's a shimmer shade. The next is Red, White, and Boom, which actually is a red, white, and blue shade, but when mixed together, it turns into a pinky silver hue. And then the last one is Werewolf. Now I have used it, but it essentially looks like a scratch mark through this and it ends up swatching to like a, a warm tone peach shimmer. 
Now we do have some very serious actual glitter shades in this palette. They are literally like liquid butter with full glitter. One is Slaughterhouse, second is Fool's Gold, and three is Scoring the End of the World. Now I have to say, Fool's Gold is my favorite. It almost has a duochrome shift to it where it goes from gold to green. And with that palette, there only leaves us three other shimmers. So these are kind of unique. First of all, we have Cause of Death, which is a matte black, but it has a very heavy glitter pigment inside of the shadow, and it's very, very opaque on. And the last two are probably my favorite out of the entire palette. We have Hollow Points and we have Porcelain. Both are very unique shades. Hollow Points is a duochrome is how I would describe it. And it is a duochrome. It kind of goes from a purple to a green to a blue hue shade. So it's the only duochrome in the palette, but it is beautiful. And then our other one that we have is porcelain. Now I can't really describe porcelain other than it goes from a white to a silver shift. And it is the most buttery shade in the entire palette. Porcelain is probably my top favorite shade in the entire palette. Now I have already done a couple of looks with this palette. I did one the very first day that it came in and I also did another look for some looks for Mariel, which is the CEO of Cursed, where I used some of the very heavy glitters. I actually used all three glitters that day. And today I'd like to challenge myself, you know, this is a pretty loud palette, right? If I personally wasn't working with Cursed, I probably would have never touched this. I probably would have kept it as like a collector item because as you know, I'm a huge fan of Motionless and White. I got to work with them personally, but because I work with Cursed, obviously I'm gonna use the palette. Today I would like to challenge myself to do something that's a little bit more of a wearable everyday vibe. So I'd really like to dip into Corpse Nation, which is kind of that neutral tone brown. I definitely want to use porcelain and I might even dip into Time Bomb because I haven't used that yet. So I'd like to just do more of an everyday wearable look using this palette. I'm going to go ahead and first add a base. I'm going to go in with P. Louise since the rest of my face is already done. And I just like to bounce it in very white base with P. Louise. Some people were asking me where to buy P. Louise because apparently there were some available on Amazon. I'm not sure how much I would trust that because P. Louise doesn't, they used to sell through Morphe, but that was before Mor Morphe went bankrupt. So I would only purchase direct from P. Louise themselves. They're out of the UK. So you'll probably have to go to their Instagram page. It is literally, the letter P Louise and that is their brand but they have some of the best eyeshadow bases if you're looking for something that's a little bit more on the affordable side I would go with something like maybe NYX or even Beauty Creations I just want to do a couple swatches for you let's start with Werewolf so you can kind of see what that looks like swatched it's a very pretty peachy shimmer tone I'll get it in the light so you can kind of see it better it's, um, it would be a great transition shade, shimmer for your inner corner or even your brow bone. I also want to swatch red, white, and boom for you, which turns out to be this kind of grayish silver, almost sometimes to blue to purple shift. This would also be a really good sort of highlight shade for your, your look on your brows. I think I'm going to start with Time Bomb. I have not used Time Bomb yet, which is kind of this army green shade. And I'm just going to take a blending brush and I have a really big mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to start mapping out sort of where I want this to be. I don't want Time Bomb to be that heavy. Now remember this is does have a light shimmer to it. So I do think I'm going to end up really buffing this out. But I really that's my typical shade that I go for. I know you typically wouldn't use this in this area. But remember makeup is a way... You can express yourself and you don't have to follow the rules. And you know, I'm the biggest rule breaker you'll ever meet. Now, if you've been following me on TikTok, you'll know that a trick that I always teach you guys is, I mean, I always have a ton of brushes ready to go, but I always like to take a fresh brush that has no pigment and I use that for my buffing brush. So it's really good to just always have your brushes near. Now I'm just buffing out the edges of this because it is a shimmer 
and I don't want this section to be too heavy. I want it to blend seamlessly and I also think I'm going to add a little bit of porcelain on the top near my brow bone. I really want this to be sheared out, which it blends beautifully. Look at that. Really impressed with the formula with Cursed. They really outdid themselves this time. I'm really happy for them for this collab. Okay, the next shade I'm gonna take is Corpse Nation. And it's a matte neutral brown, and honestly, it's a great everyday shade. And I'm just gonna start packing this on the lid. I do want to blend it into that green. I don't wanna go up too high. I want the darker part to stay a little bit lower. And once it's on, then we can start to blend. Giving very like army, smoky sort of vibes. I'm gonna pick up that same brush that I used for the green pick up a little bit more Time Bomb and just use that to melt the two shades together right in the middle. It also will create some depth when it mixes with the brown, which will sort of give you the center eye transition shade. Now I do want to pick up Porcelain. It's a very buttery, soft shade, so you need to be very gentle with it. So I'm taking a little light fluffy brush and I'm not pressing hard into the pan because it is like butter. And then I'm going to use that as a brow highlight. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. I wish I could just wear this like all over my face, honestly. Now you can take another blending brush and just blend out some of that to the green so that it's seamless. Now you could darken this up even more by using like Cause of Death or We Become the Night for the lid, the very black. But I'm really wanting to create something a little bit more subtle for today. I wore a lot of heavy makeup this week when I was doing tutorials for brands I work with, so I wanna keep it light today. I think I'm gonna go in with Corpse Nation on the underwater line just to match. And then I'm gonna take a fresh brush to smoke it out. And I think for fun, we will try Werewolf as like a little bit of a shimmer on the inner corner. So I'm gonna take a very, very flat brush. And Werewolf, remember, is that like peachy tone? Once it's mixed, so because you need something flat to put some pressure. And now, I picked it up here. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit here. Yeah, that really brightened it up. And I'll blend it out a little bit too. That gives it a little bit more of a baby pink when it's mixed with the brown. Of course I had to use Werewolf, right? Now for the inner corner, I think I'll probably go back to porcelain because I'm just really obsessed with it. So I'm gonna take a fresh flat brush and just be very careful. It's so soft, the pigment is just to die for, very soft. And then now we're gonna go here. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference, so pretty. Sometimes I even will connect my inner corner with my brow bone, but I think today we'll keep it separated. I mean, isn't that a pretty everyday look? It's definitely giving corp goth vibes. I'm gonna swatch the three glitters so that you can see them. So here is scoring the end of the world. It's a very Pumpkin King glitter. We have Fool's Gold, which really is my favorite. Do you see how it shifts? And then we have Slaughterhouse, which is a very bright red, blood red. But these glitters, they don't have fallout and they swatch so easy, which is very, very hard for brands to typically do. Basically what I'm saying is Curse did not go cheap on this palette. They made sure the formula was done correctly. So that completes the palette. Let's move on to the eye set. Okay, we have the liquid eyeliner and cream pencil set. And I have used this several times. I also use this cream pencil as a lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and use this liquid eyeliner to make a wing and a couple of bottom lashes. I'm gonna use the cream pencil for my bottom lash line. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes, finish with some mascara, and add some lashes to finish the eyes. And that is the Liquid Eye and Cream Pencil Kit. Now I am going to use that same pencil to do my lips because let me tell you what, this is a hardcore liquid lip. 
this is long wearing long lasting and it is it is very hardcore it is very hard to get off as well make sure you always shake your liquid lips first but i'm first going to go in with the pencil to line my lips and what i like to do after i apply lip liner is i will take a brush and just lightly buff out the sides so that it seamlessly blends to the liquid lip I don't know if this collection is going to be temporary. I hope they keep it on permanently. Who knows? It's probably contracted through Motionless and White and the record company, but I hope they keep this formula because this is some hardcore stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. It's very much one swipe. And that concludes the entire collection for Motionless and White. If you can only afford one thing, get the palette, but the liquid lip is so good. Once again, if I didn't have to use this to show you guys, I would be holding it off for myself and never touching it and just keeping it as a collector's item. It is beautiful just the way it was made. Also shout out to Curse Cosmetics and Motionless and White. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this little journey with you guys. Make sure you use my code. Make sure you like and comment below to support my content. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and make sure you're following me on TikTok. Let me know how much you love this. Tell me if you purchased this below and as always, I will catch you guys next time. Love you guys.